Hey everybody, Stogie Farts here. This is going to be a video on my aquaponics system and something I've been meaning to do for a while is show you how to clean the sand gravel filter. This is a great filter. If you guys have aquaponics, this has been the best thing I've ever done to my system. So before I get into showing you how I clean it and how easy it is, let me just give you the basic walkthrough. Okay, so the water starts in here, which is my sump tank, and it's pumped up through that pipe over up and into here now you have to imagine this thing is filled with a bunch of rocks so the water comes in on the bottom rises up through the rocks up through the rocks and then out through the outlet and that outlet goes over and returns to where the fish are over there so that's the basic gist of it the rocks help trap a lot of the debris and the fine particles and it, it acts as a filter and it, it tries to trap a lot of the stuff. Now when the filter gets clogged, let me see if I can show you. My phone ain't gonna pick up that much, but that is dirty water. You can almost barely not see the rocks that are underneath it. And it's a lot of brown murky stuff. You could see on top of the pipes is a lot of the brown stuff. Look around the edges, it's all brown. That's all detritus and fish waste and dead bacteria and anything else that's in there. So this needs to be cleaned and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to clean the system. Now before I actually get to the cleaning, I'm gonna show you how it's cleaned. Right in the center, there's this tube. This tube goes all the way to the bottom of that barrel and on the very bottom, it's attached to a bunch of PVC with holes in it. So the idea and the way these are cleaned is you blow air through this tube it pushes the air all the way to the bottom of the barrel where the bubbles rise up and it dislodges all the crap and all the dirt and it'll mix it all up. Then what'll happen is it'll drain out from the barrel out this drain pipe. So right now it's plugged obviously because I'm not cleaning it, but when I stir up the water and I open this up, it'll let all the filthy water flow out and that's step one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna blow air in, dislodge all the crap, drain it out. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up my drain valve. So I took off the, the little plug that was there and I'm gonna put on some tubing here that's just gonna route the water from this, the dirty water from here, and it's just gonna route it over into the side of my yard. Okay, I just took a step back just to show you. That's what it looks like. So it just is gonna drain the water from there and then off to the side of my yard. Now why don't I put it on my grass, you ask? Well, because so much water usually drains out and I don't have enough pipe or hosing right now. So if this was faced over on this part of my yard, it floods this and it goes back towards the aquaponics. And I don't want this sinking down any lower than it already has. So for now, I just drain it out of here and off into the side of my yard. But this is really good fertilizer water, so if you're doing this, it's really good if you can somehow direct it over to other areas of your yard uh, that you want to get plenty of fertilized water. Okay, now that we have the drain pipe set up, the next thing I want to do, I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to end up blocking this. This is the pipe that goes out to the fish tank. So I'm going to block this so the dirty water doesn't go back to the fish, and I'm going to plug this this is the drain that goes towards my grow beds since I'm going to stir up all this water with a bunch of gunk I don't want all the gunky water to go into the grow beds or go towards the fish that defeats the purpose of what this is for so we're gonna block this we're gonna plug this and then we'll be ready to put air inside and one more thing all I'm using is a very old shop vac for the air. Some people recommend getting separate pumps for it, but I have this old thing, it works great. You just turn it on and it blows air through the hose. So this is what I'll be using to put air into the filter to clean it. Okay, so I'm gonna plug this, plug this, and now we're gonna turn on the air and mix it up a little bit. All right, let me stop it right there and show you. If you can get a good shot of the water, you can see how dirty it is. And now I'm gonna 
let it drain out. Get up in there so you can see. So the water's all dirty and I'm gonna keep doing this process of plugging it up, like plugging it, letting it fill up back again and inserting more air. Then I turn the air off and let it drain. And that is getting rid of all the dirty water as the clean water is being pushed up through the filter again. There's a shot of the water being drained out, out of my tube. And if you could see inside, I'm not sure if you could see it, but the water is still pretty murky. You can't even see the rocks underneath. Usually that's how I know when it's clean is you'll be able to see all the rocks underneath. So that's what I keep doing. I'll keep plugging this up where this is draining the water right now. I'll plug it up, insert more air, let it flush, unplug this, drain all the dirty water, and keep doing that. So let me do that a few more times and then we'll come back to it. So I turn it off and then I unplug this, let it drain out all this water. It's getting a little bit cleaner. Still can't see any rocks on the bottom, so we got to let this uh, clean a little bit more. I'm just about done, and I don't know if you could see because of the glare, but you could slowly start seeing the rocks come to vision underneath the water. So that's how I know uh, it's about done. Usually it only takes about five, five, ten minutes of continuously bubbling it, stopping it, draining it, bubbling it again, over and over again. Here's a shot of what it looks like without any water in it, so you could see all the gravel that acts as a filter. But now it's going to start filling back up with water. All right, well that's pretty much it on how I clean the gravel filter back there. If you guys have any questions about the gravel filter, cleaning it, aquaponics, anything like that, just leave me a comment below. I read all my comments and uh, we'll talk to you later.